Welcome to more Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We are here in the Autumn Plains in Ripto's Rage, and today, guys, we are going to go and do some very, very warm stages. Right over here, we've got ourselves Magma Cone, and over on this other side, we have a stage called... Uh, not that one. Hold on. We have a stage... Oh, stairs! Okay, gotta get up these stairs real quick. Oh, Spyro! And over here we have Scorch. I don't know how long these stages are gonna be, so we might do both, we might only do one, but we're gonna go start with Scorch itself. Man, I don't trust those kids, but I guess we're gonna have to go talk to this one. Hello! Hello, Spyro. My brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow up this castle, but Handel got caught by these evil soldiers, and I'm stuck out here. Oh no, Greta, or Greta. If you can open the doors that block the way, I can find Handel, and we can complete our super secret spy mission. Secret? Oh my gosh! All right, Spyro, let's go ahead and get some treasure and ignore those enemies for now. Hold on, was there, a, was there a skill point here? There is, to get all trees. I don't know what all trees means, unless I can just like playing this crud. Ooh, I got some nuts out of it, does that count? Maybe that's what we have to do, we have to smack all the trees. I'm gonna go defeat some camels here. My specialty, I'm pretty good at defeating camels. We'll go knock into that tree. Hoping that's all we have to do is give it a bonk, get those nuts, and hopefully that will get us the skill points eventually. One more gem back there. Whoa! That guy's got like a slingshot gun thing. Uh, can't go that way, at least not yet. So let's go back up top and we'll... What just broke? I don't know what that was, but we're gonna move on. And we're gonna go back up top and see if we can get across and get some more treasure and... I guess stop ignoring those guys with the swords or whatever those things were. Yeah, those look pretty dangerous. We'll go ahead and flame them though. Yeah, I mean the swords are metal and normally metal would stop our flames, but... Well, I guess it's because it's a weapon and not an armor. Let's go ahead and flame this guy. That should open the door. Raise up that sword flag. Yeah, there we go. Let's get through there. So I'm pretty sure this first little... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say this first little section is done, but then we got a two more gem there. But now I think it's done for real. Didn't really need to get that critter, but that's fine. I'm going to go around, guys. I'm just going to ignore the treasure for now. I'm going to go around and just get all these enemies taken care of. And then I immediately go and grab some treasure. Uh, can we go up here? I don't think... No, we'll just slide back off. Okay. Let's go back around and defeat this camel. And now I guess we'll go up top. Wait, wait, wait. We missed some treasure over here. And also, I think this is a staircase. So let's go up and see what's up this way. Oh, we got Hunter who's got a challenge for us. Hey, Hunter. The monkeys have escaped from the Avalar Zoo. And I've been sent here to catch them. But they keep throwing coconuts at me and it hurts. Can you help me out? Okay, Hunter, I'll try. Great! Just charge the tree before I get hit. I'll be able to catch the monkeys as they fall. Follow me! Okay, this one's only a two-star difficulty, so I guess we're back to giving missions stars, which, uh, the past couple stages haven't really done that. I just go and smack it. Yeah, I got him! Take that, monkey guy. So we have to go smack it. Okay, so we have to get it while he's under it. So we have to get six of these guys. I don't really know how we can save this guy from the nuts, but I'll try. Go ahead and hit all these trees, just in case they're a part of the skill point as well. So he'll go back up in. We'll knock him down a second time. Now we're at two out of six. Okay, let's go over this way. Ow, he got me, dude. Right on the noggin. We'll knock him down into that bucket. Yeah, I mean, this one, this one is only a two-star difficulty, so I shouldn't expect it to be particularly hard. Where are we going next, Hunter? Probably this guy go and get this one knocked down. I don't actually know if we need to preemptively knock them down like this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Knock that one into the bucket, or into the barrel there. And we got another one over here, so hopefully Hunter will come this way. And it looks like this is where the last two even are, so let's go ahead and do that one. And then this one should be the end. Let's wait for it, and knock him in there. Alright, give me that orb. Up, Spyro. Please take this. One of the monkeys had it. Alright, thanks, Hunter. Wait a second, dude. He said one of the monkeys had it, which means that 
He didn't even know he was gonna give me that as a reward before we started the mission. How dare you, Hunter? You're trying tricking me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit these trees again, just in case I missed one before. So I wanna make sure I get all the trees for this uh, skill point. I mean, I still don't know if this is actually what we have to do, but well, just in case it is, we're gonna go through and make sure we get every single one crashed into. Let's go over this side, we got these two. I don't know if these ones that are kind of out of bounds count. Now that one, I didn't seem like I could knock into it. Yeah, it, it didn't shake, so I think we're fine. Let's go back down. I don't think we need to hit that tree again. So we should be good here. Let's go ahead and backtrack and head back on this way. We have more treasure. I think we've got everything on the bottom lo layer done. I kind of backtracked because I swear I saw something, uh, but I didn't. Okay, so let's go defeat this camel. And got a metal chest here. Go knock into that tree. Um, do we got fireworks anywhere? Does not look like it. So we'll have to figure out how to open that one. We might get a, a super flame or something later on that we can take back here. Let's go ahead and hit that button. Nice. Okay, got that one opened up. Let's see. I think we're going to have to leave that big metal chest behind until we can figure out a way to open that one. Oh, he got me. I guess we'll go up this way first. You know what? I'm going to do what I did last time where I go through and I get all the enemies first. And the reason I want to do that is it'll allow me to collect this treasure in a bit more peace. Because right now it's a lot of enemies all firing at me and charging at me and all this crud from all these different directions. I think we're good now. Aha! Skill point acquired. So that was all of them. I don't know if every single tree during that mission with Hunter was required to be hit, but yeah, just in case, I wanted to make sure I got all of them. There's the button over there. We'll go there last, I'm thinking. Grab a two here. Oh, wow. That guy can shoot all the way over this way. I saw that. I saw that go right by my head. Go through here. Um, I guess we'll go across now. I don't really know where else to go. Yeah, we might as well go up there. Knock this guy out. Up to 20 spirit particles. One up on this side. Still seeing that. I'm still seeing that treasure, so I'm thinking we might have to transport a super flame back here or something. Got that one down. Let's keep moving on, Spyro. It's on through here. Yep, super flame is right up that way, so we should be able to take that back to that chest. How much treasure do we still need? Okay, hey, we're a little over halfway. Not bad. Got 179 to go, I guess. All these guys knocked out. Now let's just run through. I kind of like this strat. The run through, knock everything out strat, and then come back for treasure. Seems to work out pretty well. I guess it maybe has a higher chance of accidentally missing some treasure. I don't know, man. Let's go talk to her. Spyro, you make a great secret agent. Now Handel and I can complete our mission. By the way, you can have this talisman. I stole it when the soldiers went looking. Thanks, Quetta. So we'll get ourselves another talisman. I think we have three more to go for Autumn Plains, and then we'll be able to go and do the boss fight. We're not going to go through that exit portal quite yet. Let's go ahead and continue our lap around to knock out all these enemies. And this section looks a little bit safe, so we'll go ahead and grab these before we move on. Now let's drop on down here. And I guess we'll go up top. And right over here, we've got Handle. We need those flags to prove our secret mission was successful. But the flag keeper keeps stealing them. If you can knock the flag keeper down, you could bring the flags back. My secret decoder ring says that this power-up thing should help you. All right, Handel. Five-star difficulty. That sounds pretty tough, man. So we'll come right on back to this, guys. Don't you worry. Let's just take our one quick lap around and make sure we grab all the treasure that we skipped by the first time around. Once we get these, we should be able to just go out and, yeah, run to this corner, grab a couple goodies. I think that's pretty much everything, man. So if I miss something, we'll let Sparks help us find that a bit later. So let's go back up top and get that super flame and see what we can do with this crud. It sounds like we have to go back to where we've had all of those um, flags that we raised. We have to go back to them and do something with it. Do we go up like this? Uh, is that the answer? There's one. I don't know if that was the answer, but that might have been. I didn't get a one out of three counter there. Let's go ahead and shoot that one. We'll come grab those in a bit. Uh, I want to go back and see if I can get another one before this runs out, though. Let's go up like this. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Oh, well. 
Let's go at least get this treasure, and then I'll try to figure out how to do this mission here. This treasure is kind of up top as well as down below. Grab all of that. Okay, we're down to... Uh, still a lot to go. Almost 90 treasure to go still. But let's try to figure out this mission here. Oh, wait. I knocked him down, and now he's down here. Uh, so what the crud? You want that flag, eh, dragon? Well, two can play at this bombing game. Let's go. All right, let's go, Bob the Flag Keeper. Avoid the Flag Keeper's bombs. Return the flag to handle. Okay, we'll just avoid the bombs then. I don't know if we're trying to uh, chase this guy down and actually hit him. I did not avoid very well. So it sounds like we just avoid and don't worry about anything else for now. And we'll just keep on chasing him down until we get to the end. Oh, I didn't realize it would bounce. Whoopsie. No, come on, Spyro. No, dude. Hey, treasure down here. Whoa. That was an accident. Got a swoop de swoop over here and everything, man. All right. Sorry, Flag Keeper guy. We'll come back to you, but I got to get all these goodies. Uh, where'd he go? Over this way. So it's going to keep on dodging here. Got to be very careful because they like to ricochet off the back wall, it looked like that one time. They kind of sneakily got me. Keep on chasing this guy down and dodging these bombs. Ugh. Dude, I'm getting scared, bro. I don't want to fail this deep into it, man. I mean, I don't know how long we're going to have to be following this guy, but it feels like we should almost be there. And it looks like we are. Ooh, I see a lot of treasure over that way. Okay, there's one flag down. Still two to go. Yep, still two to go. Okay. So let's go and grab the Super Flame again. And I think now the other flag that... Uh, it seems like it didn't have anything. Now that we defeated the first Flag Keeper, maybe it will have something. So let's go ahead and zip on back here and see if there's something up there. Uh, yes, there is. I just can't hit it from this close. Let's go get back this way. Oh, I did get him. Never mind. Let's go ahead and flame him from behind and let's go talk to him. Still after my flags, dragon. I am indeed, Bob. Well, we know the drill, guys. Just gotta dodge these bombs for a very long time. Seems like he always go does kind of one to the left and one to the right. So maybe that'll help us out with the pattern. Whoa, 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 whoa! Three? He just did three at once, dude! I mean, not at once, but in three in quick succession, I guess. Oh, jeez. We're almost back there. I kind of want to get this heal here. I can only imagine how long the third one's going to be. We're probably going to have to go basically through the entire stage dodging bombs. So this one's just about done. This should be the last round here. I hope more. Get up there, you crud. There we go. So that one is done. And now we're going to have to go and do this one more time from the very end. Yeah, just one more flag. So let's go get this. Probably transport it all the way back to the start of the stage. I don't know if there's a shortcut to get back there, but I didn't see one. So we're, we'll just run through manually here. And hopefully this timer will last long enough for us to get this crud. There's where we just did the second one. Let's keep on going back here. Might as well knock into that guy real quick. And I think we should be able to get this right here. Okay. And I think we got him. So knock that guy down. And let's get to it, guys. Round number three. Got to dodge this guy for a very long time. Although I am kind of getting the hang of this. It's kind of a tight spot, though. Whoa, it almost bounced off and got me. What if I just stay up here? Haha, -ha, how about that, buddy? So it looks like he will wait for you. And he won't start shooting again until you get close. So if you wanted to do this as quickly as possible, you probably have to chase him down and always get to the next spot that'll make him move very quickly. But I'd rather take my time and just not die rather than try to rush through this. Go on, do three if you want to. Oh, no, he's only going to do two. I mean, we've made it almost all the way back already. Almost fell right there, but we're fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm really getting the hang of this, guys. It's kind of weird because I spoke too soon. Why do I say anything, man? Ah! Haha! -ha! What if I just stay up here? Never mind, I fell! I fell! Ah! Yeah, how about that, buddy? What if I just stay up here? I think there are going to be these little choke points like right here that we kind of have to follow them through directly, but still, we can kind of use the high ground like Obi-Wan Kenobi or whatever, and uh, that'll help us out. Don't fail now. Do not fail now. Uh, uh. Okay, I think one more round. One more round and we can do this. Let's go wide here. Stop throwing balls. Okay, we got him. There we go, guys. Three out of three flags, and I think that's it for orbs Great for this job, stage. Agent Spyro. How can we repay you for your efforts? How about this orb that I found in the sand? Sure, why not, Handle? 
Let's go ahead and get our handles on that one. All right, so that should be all orbs completed, right? Tell me it's all orbs. Yeah, all orbs collected. We still need 80 treasure, and I did see some treasure over this way. Uh, maybe it wasn't that way. There was some way that had a bunch of, like, explodey chests and crud. Well, let's let Sparks help us out here, and I'll just meet you guys when we find something. Ooh, I never did take the swoop de swoop did I? So let's go take that one and see if that helps us out. Yeah, that is a lot of treasures. Kind of wonder if this will be all of it, actually. Oh, that was a big chain reaction. I did not think that would happen. This looks like a lot. Is this 80, though? Oh, we got some tens and everything. Lots and lots of fives. Let's go grab this one. Is that it? Oh, all 400 guys. So we got the skill point. We got the orbs. We got the gem. We got the talisman. So we are done with Scorch. I forgot in the last episode to do the extra icy speedway orb thing. Crud. Let's go back for it. I can just travel directly. Let's do it. I'm going back to Scorch because I traveled directly to Icy Speedway and I forgot to, uh, <laughs> I forgot to go and play the cutscene. So I'm just splicing this cutscene into where it should have been in the episode, and then we'll go cut ahead to the Icy Speedway. So I think we have to flame this, charge it. Ah, there we go. Good job, Spyro. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? Of course not. Not me. Let's Great. do it. I'll tow you behind my snowmobile and you maneuver through the rings. Don't miss any or we'll have to start over. All right. Four star difficulty. So we cannot miss a single ring. 50? So it seems like the height is kind of handled automatically, and we just have to choose left, right, or center. So it's basically a three-lane challenge. So that should hopefully not be too bad. But like you said, we can't miss any rings. So we'll just do our best here. This does seem slightly easier than the one challenge we did where we had to collect 50 gears in Breeze Harbor. So at least compared to that, this seems a little bit easy, but still a pretty crazy challenge. Okay, get all these. Over halfway done now. Yeah, they're going by fairly quickly. They're all kind of close together here. Oh, that was a close one. Whew. One through here. Home stretch. Can we get this one first try? Just let me get something in a Speedway first try game. Last one. And there it is. That was not too bad. You're even better than I am. Yeah, I mean, that's not too difficult, Hunter. So we got that one done, guys. This episode is not mega short, but... You know what? Let's go for a longer one today, guys. Let's go back and let's go do Magma Cone. Alrighty, Magma Cone, in we go. Okay, that looked pretty violent, dude. Let's get inside, and I guess go down and talk to that guy. Sure. Hello, Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. Well, I'm afraid it's been canceled because the stupid Earth Shapers set off the volcano. How dare they? All right, so we'll have to look out for that. You might have noticed right there, they immediately require climbing, but I think to even get to this world, you would have to have climbing in the first place, so that's really not too big of a deal. Let's go through here and flame that guy grab these in the meantime. Man, I noticed those explodey chests or those explodey bottles very commonly seem to have tens inside of them. Can't flame that guy. Holy crud. Cannot flame that guy. So we'll have to go deal with the, maybe the little dudes. Oh, come back here, buddy. Dude, he's so fast. Ha! So we'll do that. So we can't flame the little ones either, but we can defeat them with a charge. Let's go on through this bottom section and see if we can get ourselves some treasure. Lots of lava, man. I expected Scorch to be a bit more toasty as well. It was more of just like a desert kind of area. But this one, this one is full on lava and crud. Whoa! Man, these guys are fast. Get back here! Get back here! Ah, okay. Man, Sparks is only green right now because I kind of entered while already having some damage on me. 
So I really need to do a better job of looking for some uh, some critters to get this guy healed up. I guess we can't jump off this. There we go. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go up this way. Kind of all over the place right now, but that's fine. That's fine. You know what? Since we're all over the place anyways, might as well go over here. Get some stuff right there. What do we have on this side? Lots of treasure. Holy crud, man. That is a lot. Let's see. Does this also have a 10? Nope, it's a 5. So I guess they don't always have 10s or anything like that, but it still seems fairly common for them to have 10. Ooh, we got a snail. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a blue butterfly that will heal Sparks all the way back to full. There we go. And up over this way. I think we have to do something with that big guy, with this guy. Come on, throw the stuff at him. I guess it's not going to work that easily, is it? I'm thinking something to do with that guy holding that giant lava ball will helpfully help us defeat that big guy. Knock out that dude, and I guess we'll just move on for now. Oh wait, I should check. Is there a skill point here? Um, there is not. We have one in Fracture Hills, and I think that's it until we get to the boss fight. Of the, uh, of the entire world, really. Can I bonk this guy backwards? Okay, so I think we bonk that guy back, and then that guy will flame him. So there we go. I don't, I don't know how I didn't notice the giant X marks, the spot there. I think I was too focused on trying not to get smashed by his giant hammer. Um, I don't know where to go. I forgot, I forgot how to move on here. All right, we go up this way, so let's go ahead and grab on. Hey, we'll try to grab back off. I can't let go. There we go. And up this way, we've got that checkpoint, of course. Grab ourselves a little bit of treasure. Grab all of these chests. Uh, which way do I want to go? He snipe shot at me, dude. I thought I was safe there. I'm gonna get that guy. I'm gonna get you, buddy. Get back here, you crud. We'll knock that guy out. And let's go down here. Get ourselves a snail. I'm taking a lot of damage, so I definitely need to be eating those snails. Did that guy miss. We'll knock him back onto the X. Ooh, and get him obliterated, dude. Let's see, where else should we go? I guess we'll just keep going down the main path. I don't think I want to be dropping down there. I'm kind of following along with this guy, and he's helping us defeat all these big dudes. This big dude right here, is there an X for him? There is, so let's go ahead and let him miss. Knock him back. I think we'll have to knock him back twice, actually. Oh, maybe even three times. Is that a jackhammer? Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, I guess it worked, so sure, why not? Let's see. Got the big volcano in the center we can climb up. I've got a feeling there's treasure behind this, though. Am I wrong? Are my treasure senses not tingling correctly? Oh, that is not a good tingle. All right, let's go up here then. We can just jump our way up. And I think we have to do a big transfer. Oh, we made it. Get back down here. Ugh, and there we go. Over this way. Money bags. What are you doing out here? Oh, hold on. There's like three lives over here. What the heck? Man, those were not even that hidden. And we get three extra lives. That's kind of amazing. So we're up to 34 lives in this game. I haven't been dying as much as I did in Spiral 1. Well, if it isn't my best customer, the elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. Only a few. Yeah, it's 200 will do it. doing business with you. Simply step onto the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. Thanks a lot, money bags. You're always so useful. Another one up, dude. Holy crud, there's so many. We're going to have more one-ups than we have orbs in no time. How many orbs do we have? 38. So I guess we'll go ahead and take this elevator. And it'll take us down inside the volcano. It's time to get toasty. Although I guess uh, Spyro being a dragon probably doesn't mind that too much. I don't think we need that snail, so we're going to we're going to let him survive for now. We have a floating little fireball which we could probably use to shoot at something. But I'm going to climb up these. And where am I going? I guess we'll go around to the left side here. I don't see any treasure down below, so we'll just keep on moving on. Dodge the fire. Oh, we dodged it. Good. Is there anything up top? Does not look like it. I see more treasure down that way, so I kind of want that. But I also don't feel like dropping down quite yet. Okay, we're dropping even if I don't want to. Thanks a lot, game. 
Now, I guess we'll work our way back around, and I'll have to climb up a second time. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys when we're back where we were. Ow! Ow! I'm dead, dude. So I think on this tall section right here, it alternates left and... Crud! <laughs> it alternates left and right, so we have to kind of jump to one side, jump back to the other side. Keep doing that over and over until we get to the top. Kind of tricky, but we're making it work. Okay, and there we go. We make it to the top. Somehow, I was just climbing there. Close to that. Closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. And let's get that talisman. Man, I feel like in real life, if you tried to put a lid on a volcano... Well, first of all, volcanoes in real life are really big. They're way bigger than that. So you need, you need a very big lid. But I'm pretty sure the lid would either just, like, explode off or it would melt. Like, I just can't imagine it just being like, Yep, all right, good lid. We'll just, we'll stay contained hey, now. Spyro, you're just in time for the party. Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. <sighs> it just won't be the same without party hats. Oh no, we gotta go get some party hats, guys. Shoot down the lava monster. Five star difficulty. Oh boy, okay. So let's go into here. And now that we're flying, we can go and knock down some treasure, it looks like. So can I shoot these guys directly? No. So I have to go and get those orange balls. And use those balls to smack these guys in the face for party time. So grab that. Launch it at them. One down. Twelve?! A dozen? We have to get a dozen of these guys, and I am already having some trouble. I saw a treasure, though, so I want to make sure I grab that one. Yeah, dude, getting these balls in our mouth is really difficult. Come on. There we go. We scooped it up. Let's go and blast this guy. kind of want to knock down all these treasures as well, but eh, it's complicated, man. Okay, get the ball. Spit, him up, spit it on him. Kind of spit while I said that. There we go. Four down. Four twelve, man. I need more flying power, though. Oh, gosh. Where was it? Where was it? Uh. Uh. Okay, swoopty swoop. Let's just take the swoopty swoop. No, the swoopty swoop is not the answer. No, it is. It is. It's totally the answer. So we'll take that one. We'll go back up and get some more flying power. So there's one there. I'm going to go grab this ball, scoop him up, and then we'll swoop back around, and then we'll spit it at him. Boom. Go grab this one again. I like this ball. I miss that ball. I hate that ball. No, I love this ball. Yeah, we got him. Okay. Spit it at him. And then we'll go grab this one. And immediately spit it. Grab this one. And get him. Okay. Oh, I missed the balls. Okay, we'll go and at least get this treasure here. And I saw more treasure down that way. So I'm thinking what I'll do, guys. Grab this ball because I love this ball. And then we'll go and get this one way over this side. And I can see the guy up there, so we'll go and recharge our flying power again. Or is this not it? Uh, oh, it's down there. Okay, we'll go down and right over here. Get ourselves a recharge. So where are these final three? I can see one down here, two down here, three down here. So they're all down here. Let's start by grabbing our balls. And then we'll go and spit it at this dude. No! Okay. For a second, I thought if I touched the lava on the wall, it would still hurt me. I don't think it would, though. Go back around. And where is he? Oh, up there. Oh! One more. And I know exactly where it is. I got to just not goof here on the, on the way. Okay. Swoop around. And I'm hoping it'll warp us back up top as soon as we get this guy. Okay, it does. Hero, you saved the party. Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls. And I almost chipped a tooth on it. The cheese balls? How would you mistake a green orb for a cheese ball? I mean, maybe it got covered in cheese dust or something. But now let's take a lap around, guys, and try to find some more treasure. And once we bust open all of the treasure bo uh, bottles, we'll go down and try to collect these things. You know, it's kind of looking like we might have already got all the treasure bottles uh, exploded. So maybe it's time to just go down and start grabbing things. So I know there's one, like, right over here on the bottom. So at least get that, and then we'll go back over this way and check out this tunnel. We have a snail that I desperately need. I think this is the elevator, so that's not something I really want to do. So Sparks, help us out. Never mind, I do want to go back up here. Because apparently I missed some treasure over on this side. Let's go take the elevator, boss. Dude, I remember that back in World of Warcraft, whenever there was a big elevator like this, people would always call it the elevator boss because 
you'd have a big group of like, you know, 25 to 40 players or whatever, whatever the dungeon size was. So you'd have like a couple dozen players and there would always be someone who would die trying to ride the elevator. So people would call it the elevator boss because it always defeated some players. Because yeah, if you fall off the top, you would just die in that game. Let's go up here and grab ourselves this treasure at least. A 10? That is not a 10, that is a 23. Let's see, how many more do we need? Wow, we still need two more orbs. I didn't even realize we still had orbs to go. I mean, I guess it makes sense. We've only gotten one. So Sparks is taking us over this way now. Uh, I'll, I'll just meet you guys when I find the next uh, bit of treasure here. Aha, we can go inside right here. And I guess get a whole bunch of treasure and go inside this ice cavern? What? Dude, I actually, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, we got some hunter challenge in here. That's not all the treasure, though. We're still missing 10, so we'll have to go look for that, but... Uh, we'll go ahead and do hey, this. Spyro. Check out this cool cave I found. Let's play a little game. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab 10 of them wins. Sounds good, Hunter. I'm Let's play. You are. I am ready right now. Grab 10 crystals before Hunter does. All right. So it looks like it'll kind of indicate where it's going to be. Oh, okay. We can't flame it. We have to actually physically touch it here. There we go. We can just kind of stand where it's going to pop out. I missed one! Where, where, where? Okay, chase down the smoke thing. Get it! There we go. No! Okay, Hunter didn't get that one either, so we're fine. He stole it from me! My, well, how'd that not count? No! Okay, I'm still in the lead, still in the lead. Get it, get it, get it! Four! He got three! Mine! He keeps getting them so fast, dude! He's too good. Hunter is too good. No, I'm too good. I am too good. Take that, Hunter. No, mine! I tried to steal it from him. Okay, okay, we got this one. Okay, up to seven. Oh, I almost had that. I got this one, though. Okay, two left. Two left. No, there's no way. Uh, okay, we'll chase down this one, at least. Okay, one more. Can't get that one. Can't get that one. Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, we'll chase this one down. There we go, guys. Ten okay, down, but we're probably going to have to play that again, and it'll probably be even more difficult. So there's one orb down, but let's go ahead and Another see if we can defeat Hunter can again. again. Fifteen. We have to get fifteen crystals. Mine, 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 mine. Ha! Take that, Hunter. Where, where? He got one. Okay. Chase this one down. Mine! Yes. No! Hunter's too good, dude. Give me that crud. Yes. We're going over here. Okay, we're we're in the lead. We're in the lead. We're not in the lead. We're in the lead. Yeah, let's go with this one. Come on. What? What? How did I not get that one? Mine! Okay, I got it. I actually got that. Okay, two. we're two ahead now. Chasing this one down. Oh, we're doing so good, man. We're doing so good. I can't get that one in time. I went for the wrong one. Okay, we'll try again here. Got that. Got that. Okay, well, dude, we're doing incredibly well. Oh, Hunter got that one, though. We'll go right over here. Okay, three more to go. Two more. Oh, let's chase this one down. Slow down, Hunter. Last one. Oh, I missed it! Hunter got it. I can't get that one. Uh, let's go for this one. Mine! Oh my gosh, if Hunter got that, I was going to be so stressed out. But we got that one done. So we'll take that orb. That's the final orb for this stage. And I saw a treasure as well, which might be the final treasure. So Magma Cone might be done already. Let's break this open. Yeah, that is it, guys. And there's no skill point here, so... Wait, did we already get the talisman? We did! So we can just exit stage, check out that cutscene, and we are done with Magma Cone. And there you go, my dudes. Two stages completely knocked out in one episode. And with that, guys, we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. We've got two main stages and the boss still left here in Autumn Plains. 
I don't know. We might do all of that if they're short enough, but if one of the stages turns out to be kind of long, then we'll probably delay it. So we'll see what happens. But until then, take care.